Hi there, now we're going to read lesson 253. Myself is ruler of the universe. Myself, capital S self, my higher self, my soul, my spirit is ruler of the universe. Paragraph one, it is impossible that anything should come to me unbidden by myself, which means everything that comes to us, we have requested it. Even in this world, it is I who rule my destiny. What happens is what I desire. What does not occur is what I do not want to happen. This must I accept. For thus am I led past this world to my creations. Children of my will in heaven where my holy self abides with them and him who has created me. For thus am I led past this world to my creations. Children of my will in heaven, where my holy self abides with them and him who has created me. So we are in a, in a position where we have got to understand that everything that is happening is by our choice. And you may say that I didn't request these parents. I didn't request to get fired. I didn't request to have somebody cut me off in traffic. What you have to understand is that energetically, we have been carrying density from lifetimes. So there are things that are happening now that are just projections outwardly of things that you have believed you deserved. You may not have thought, oh, I deserve to have an accident, but you may have thought, I don't deserve to move forward. I am not good enough to, to have uh, the things that I want. If you've held those thoughts in your mind, your mind is going to create them because you use the mind of God. There is only one mind. So all of your creations, these are our children. Everything that you create, your job, your home, your getting fired, getting married, going to a funeral, those are like your children. Those are your babies. And they're all held for you in heaven where your soul lives. So what this means is that when we accept that everything is because I have requested it at some level. My soul at some level is working out karma. Anything that is dense in my life, anything that I've ever experienced in any lifetime, is getting projected in this time of shift in consciousness. We're in the midst of a massive shift that began to really get activated in 2012. The energies became absolutely powerful and energies that are creating a total complete shift where we have to move from fear and we have to accept that we are powerful. How do you accept your power? By loving yourself enough and forgiving yourself for all the things you created from fear. So anything that shows up that you don't like is just an opportunity for you to say, you know what, I'm not gonna think that way again. I'm not gonna think so little of me. I'm not gonna think that there's something wrong with me, that I need to have obstacles. I believe that I deserve to have nothing but a fun and easy ride. And anything that shows up that's an obstacle is just for me to say, oh wow, I'm so powerful, look at what I created. Even if it was in my mind 10 lifetimes ago, I'm gonna own it because when I own it, I accept it. I make peace with it. Then I can shift from fear to love and go, wow, look at how powerful I am. It's time for us to stop uh, resisting what is, begin to see what is this showing me about myself that I was believing I deserved, and begin to say with clarity and consciousness, deliberately, with pure intent, this is what I want instead. And expect it to show up in your life, maybe not instantaneously because it, it, things take time to show up. But maybe, maybe they will show up in your life in this lifetime within a couple of years. But at the very least in the next lifetime, it will. Want world peace. You may not see it in this lifetime, but expect it in the next, uh, in a future lifetime. We have all been conditioned to believe in war and to settle for fear and to settle for that the there's not enough and to settle for fear of death. All of those things create density that get projected out. So if you have been believing death is real, you're going to see death out in there in the world. Once you don't believe death is real, you will see people transitioning to their next lifetime. You won't see suffering. You won't see death as final. You'll see death as a transition back into being born again, into being babies again. Everybody, instead of aging, it stops 
with the process of death or the transition process, and then they rejuvenate. They become brand new again with another lifetime. So we've got to give ourselves permission that myself is the ruler of the universe. Paragraph two, you are the self whom you created son. You are the self whom you created son, creating like yourself and one with you. This is you, God. God, you are the one and powerful self. You created son, you created me. Creating like yourself, one with you. You created me exactly as you are, powerful like you are, one with you. So there's no separation between God and I. That's why there's no separation between my creations and me. Myself, which rules the universe, is but your will, your will, God, in perfect union with my own, which can but offer glad assent to yours, that, that it may be extended to itself. So God wants us to accept that we're using the mind of God. We've just been using it unconsciously, wielding all that power. Truly, everything you think about, you bring about. That's how powerful your mind is. And we have been so conditioned to blame others for our the things that we don't like that it's hard to take responsibility for it. No, they got created because at some level I believed it. When we all clean up that we don't deserve war, we don't deserve death, we don't deserve pain and suffering, when we all clean it up from our mind, everybody is going to then be projecting with the will of God, aligning to project with love, a world that will be heaven on earth. But it starts with every single one of our minds. We gotta clean it up by taking full responsibility of how powerful it is. Then we can change things. Thanks a bunch and I hope you enjoyed this lesson and you're claiming your power because it's yours. Whether you claim it or not, it's still yours. You're using it. The invitation is to, is to train your mind to think with God so that you can create deliberately. Thanks a bunch.